dollar just broke to the downside. This is a positive indicator for the entire market. This can actually lead XRP into this kind of a price action. If we do get the one, the two and the three on the impulsive side, that can be positive. And that's what we are waiting for. However, the short term fluctuation in the market looks very choppy. And this kind of takes the attention away from the normal individuals. But I would argue, stay away from the noise. Focus on the direction. On a daily, on a three day, on a weekly. You are now looking at the macro direction being to the upside. So yes, while the Bitcoin goes higher, while the Bitcoin dominance increases, we may most likely see something like this in the altcoin side and especially ether now don't be surprised if that does not drop that much but still grinds back up the idea here is simple and we're going to explain that in an easy way because on the other end you're watching some of these assets performing very well in the market on the weekly, on the monthly, on the yearly, you're watching a lot of these assets performing very well. Welcome to the Scientific Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10 person of this world. If you're looking at this particular asset, Currently, the price is 0 0.0365, that's Jasmine. And if you look our calls from Feb, followed up in the late Feb, then, you know, March till this current moment, if you actually look at the price action and the targets given, you kind of get an idea where things went. And if you do look at Pepe, another asset, now the price is down 14% for the week. However, it's already up significantly for the month. So our initial call was for a buy, the breakout. Then when it was close to the local top, the thought process was, okay, think about taking profits. If you want to follow these calls at the right time, be in the SI family with the thousand plus members. You can use the link in the description below to get into the SI family. Now, Let's get into the chase and look at what exactly the market is showing us. Here we are watching dollar breaking to the downside from a trend line which has been valid all the way from December 2023. So if you put that into perspective, last five months we held this one as a support. Now we are breaking that to the downside. That kind of gives a little bit more room for crypto and the markets priced against dollar to grind higher. So yes, when you actually zoom a little bit out, this is what you can actually see, which means the price in dollar is now showing you a hidden bearish divergence. So the RSI came back up to this level but it failed to push the price back up to that level that shows you sellers are really strong or in the other words buyers are weak now when dollar accelerates to the downside if it come back down to 101 101.5 any of which can be a good support but crypto market is going to rally on that front now if you do look at XRP on that matter, we're still inside a macro price structure or a pattern. And now that has been developed over last six, seven months to a year. So we kind of have a strong resistance and support, but now it starts to feel like the market as a whole is about to move up and XRP is starting to join that move. Now, if you do look at Bitcoin side of things, when you do focus on the macro, everything looks positive. You don't have much of a noise and you see that the price is going up. Now, come to the daily side of things. 
what can we expect for the next day? On a Haken Ashi chart, it's kind of clear it's saying I'm going to the upside. But let's look at the price action. Last candle, the daily candle, had a lot of buying volume, which then pushed the price up. So that's been positive. That's fine. Because when you do look at this as a bull flag, I would be in an opinion of, okay, that looks fine. That looks great. If you do break 69,900, say 70,000, that now gives you a measured move of your pole. Say this is the flag, another 10% from the break of 70. That's $77,000. Now, why is this so important? Because while you're here, if you do look at this, that area which the price is now taking in as a support that's the resistance turned into a support so that price point trend line has been acting as a resistance for a while all the way from march now it turned into a support and if you do observe something like this that's you know no other words it's bullish now while bitcoin steals the shoe Ether can slow down a little bit, and that's not a surprise because the three day chart was kind of showing you it was slowing down. However, when you do zoom in, say a daily chart, it's still showing you that you have inverted hammer. Last time, when you had a couple of inverted hammers, the price went up, which now adds on to the price action on a short term segment, saying. I'm forming an inverted hammer that's bullish. Say you don't care about that. You care about the most recent candle close. That shows you this candle close, which we are playing out now, can be a hammer. So an inverted hammer followed by a hammer usually gives you a bullish outlook. Now, if you're on a 12 hour chart and you believe there is going to be a bounce on the daily, there is now higher odds that you may actually do this. That's a double bottom pattern. But while the Bitcoin dominance actually grinds higher, we may not actually see a lot of action in the altcoin market. But if you can, then position in the right assets. Because on the altcoin side, most likely you would be starting to recognize assets breaking higher. Look at the volume. If the volume supports that and the asset has decent utility, developers' activity, then that's all you want. Because if the market decides to jump in there and push the price up, now that's going to be a great ride for a couple of weeks to a couple of months. And if you want to get those calls, be in the SI family, that's going to be the easiest way to get through. Otherwise, You'll have to take your time to go through hundreds of assets to find three or four right assets. So now when we actually jump back, conclude on everything which we just saw here, Bitcoin is leading the market, Bitcoin is choppy. However, just keep your eyes on the Bitcoin 3-day or Bitcoin weekly. It kind of gives you an easy fact here. You are trending to the upside. The three-day chart shows you the MACD is trying to cross to the upside. Last time, when you 